Hello, it's me, John, again for the third and final part of my Van Damme films retrospective. Here's Bob, say hello. Say hello, Bob. Well, don't hit me. Anyway, uh, where where were we? We were at Derailed, and um, yeah, Van Damme's worst film ever. Absolutely terrible film. Behind the scenes featurette that no one's ever going to want to watch. Um, yeah, a really bad Van Damme film. Then we go on to a pretty good film. Well, it's better than Derailed, but what isn't? Um, In Hell. Um, Van Damme plays a guy called Kyle Lord, gets put in prison for avenging his. Um, Bob. For avenging his wife's murder, he gets involved in uh, fights to the death in the prison, and it's a really good prison drama, actually. I mean, it's no um, Shawshank Redemption, but it's a good dramatic piece of Van Damme. And the fights are a bit more down and dirty, gritty than his normal um, his normal fare. Then we have Wake of Death, which comes with a featurette. Um, really really violent, um, really action-packed, excellent film from uh, 2004. It's when we started getting the um, the zombie eye Van Damme, where it looks like he's just saying to himself, what happened to my career, you know? But, you know, he pulled off the odd good film, like Wake of Death. And then after that we get Second in command. This is when Van Damme starts going off to um, places like Bulgaria and Kazakhstan to make his films because I'm guessing it's cheaper there. Um, decent film. Um, plays a guy who's a second in command, obviously, gets thrust into the limelight um, when his superior. His boss gets killed or taken captive or something, can't remember. But it's got some good fight scenes, good action, on a low budget. Second in command from 2005. <clears throat> then we have The Hardcore, which I don't really like. It's just, um, it's a bit nasty really. It's just all these gangster rapper types. Um, Van Damme just stuck in the middle there, a bit like Steven Seagal film, you know. Um, he's got a protective boxer, Wayne Barkley, from these guys who were trying to basically kill him. Um, pretty violent, decent action. Van Damme looks slightly bored in this one, and there's a fight scene with Van Damme and the boxer. Played by, um, don't, know. don't know, but um, it's not a very good fight scene. Then we have Until Death, which comes with a making of featurette. Now this is a good film. Um, plays a really awful um, cop who's into drugs. He beats his wife. He's a real nasty piece of work. And he he's, goes against this crime lord, played by Stephen Rea, the Irish actor who does really well in it. And basically he takes a bullet to the head <coughs> and <coughs> he comes out of his coma and decides to change his life and stop being such an idiot and um, just turns his life around. His wife starts falling in love with him again. Um, he starts to amend all the, the bad things he's done in his life. And to be honest, as far as acting goes, this is probably one of Van Damme's best films. The action's good as well. This, I would say this is um, Van Damme's best film in the last 10 years, I would say. Until death. Definitely check that out. Then we have The Shepherd, Border Patrol, uh, which is directed by one of my favourite directors, Isaac Florentine, who directed uh, the, the Gary Daniels film Cold Harvest, uh, the Scott Adkins film Special Forces, directed Undisputed 2, Undisputed 3, Ninja with Scott Adkins, um, 
that Dolph Lundgren film. Um, oh, um, Bridge of Dragons, which is okay. Um, the Shepherd, Border Patrol. This is one of Isaac Florentine's worst films. I mean, you've got Van Damme in it. You've got Scott Adkins, the martial arts guy in it. You've got Isaac Florentine in it, who can really direct martial arts. And yet you've got hardly any fight scenes. As if, like, um, there's a fight between Van Damme and Scott Adkins. And it's as if Van Damme is kind of a bit worried that Scott Adkins is going to show him up or something. Because uh, it's not good. Not a good fight. Van Damme's carrying a rabbit around in a cage for some reason. And it's just all very so what. Not a good film. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend The Shepherd. Then we have JCVD, which has got um, deleted scenes, making of JCVD, and documentary A Day with JCVD, which is quite an interesting documentary. Uh, this is the two disc version. Um, it's different, it's not a bad film. Van Damme's really good in it. There was actually talks that he should get an Oscar for it, which I'd never thought I'd see in my lifetime. Um, it's in French. Uh, basically, not a lot of action, but it's interesting, and uh, Van Damme's acting is really good in it. And there's a a 15 minute sing uh, soliloquy to the camera where he um, talks about his life. Basically, he plays himself, but not really himself, like a fictional version of himself. And he gets embroiled in a bank robbery, and everyone expects him to be like the Van Damme from the films, but obviously he's just a real, just normal person. So. Yes, uh, it's quite funny in places. Um, I would recommend checking it out at least once. Then we have Universal Soldier Regeneration, the third Universal Soldier film, uh, where Van Damme is he's doing the Dead Eye act to to the hilt. Really, he's playing Luke Devereux again. He's um, Dolph Lundgren's back as Scott McCoy. Scott, Scott Andrews, sorry, Scott McCoy's the guy from Delta Force, Chuck Norris. Um, and it's just basically these terrorists kidnap uh, these kids, they're sending the Universal Soldiers to get them back. Um, there's a fight between Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren, which is pretty good. Um, and it's got some good special features audio commentary with Dolph Lundgren and the, the director, John Hyams. It's got a making of Universal Soldier Regeneration. It's, it's just basically all out action, but it's lacking something, it's lacking soul, um, lacking really good fight scenes. It's got Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky, who's some mixed martial arts fighter, but only, I mean, I'm not disrespecting the guy, but his, his move set isn't very interesting. He just kind of gets the guys on the floor and starts pounding the faces in. Which is maybe good in the ring, but it's not very inter entertaining to watch. But you've got Dolphin there and Van Damme, and obviously they're kings of action. And when they when they have their fight scene together, it's it's pretty good going through walls and stuff. Uh, I'd recommend it. And there's a new one coming out, um, Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning, which we'll see what that's like. Then we have the documentary that they showed on TV uh, last last year or the year before Jean-Claude Van Damme behind closed doors uh, two discs there's um, I think six or eight episodes each one an hour long different aspects of his life like making his films his family um, going out drinking at nightclubs buying caviar for like a thousand quid for a little tin um, just check the time on the camera It's, it's it's a good like um, all areas look at Jean Claude Van Damme. He doesn't pull any punches. He comes across as a really likable guy at some points. Other times he comes across as a complete um, idiot. Um, but you know he's got a good heart. You know he runs a he runs like a shelter for abandoned dogs, which he he, he funds himself. And he's he's got a good heart. He's just he's he lost his way a bit at some point in his life, but he's. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, 
and I'd recommend checking out this series just to see what the man's like behind uh, when he's not making films and just a normal guy really just a cool guy who's not perfect <clears throat> then we have <coughs> Assassination Games another film with Van Damme being the Mr. Deadeye and uh, Scott Adkins in there uh, basically two um, contract um, basically Van Damme is a contract killer and well, Scott Adkins plays an assassin as well and it's basically it's Assassins the Stallone film but with Scott Kins and Van Damme and it's it's okay I guess it's a bit nasty in places but it's alright I don't like the, the title though it's got some deleted scenes on the disc then we have Dragon Eyes which is uh, up there with Derailed as one of his all time worst films to be fair with him he's, he's only, he only does a cameo in it he's in about 5 minutes he, he, it stars Kung Lee the um, the Thai mixed martial arts fighter. There's a guy who comes into a neighborhood. Basically, wants to sort it out. It's like Angel Town, only nowhere near as good. Um, Peter Well is in there, playing the bad guy, corrupt police chief. He lost a lot of weight, but you know he's, he's still a good actor. Peter Weller there, and Van Damme plays the guy in, who trained Kung Lee in prison. Um, he has a fight scene. He has a bit of backstory, but not really impressive at all, boring film Dragon Eyes from the producer of The Matrix and Sherlock Holmes and finally we have his most recent film so far Six Bullets which stars Van Damme as a ex-mercenary who's hired by an MMA fighter to rescue his daughter who's being kidnapped and the two guys team up to get the daughter back like Van Damme's last few films it stars his son Chris Van Varenberg and his daughter as well Six Bullets The Greater the Sinner, The Greater the Saint Van Damme's most action packed film in years says on the back and I haven't actually watched this yet but um, it's by the director of by the director of Assassination Games, so I'm expecting something along those lines. Looks pretty, um, pretty interesting. Lots of action. We'll see how it goes. And uh, that's it, really. That's all the Van Damme films I've got. And uh, I guess next time we'll look at maybe Gary Daniels. So um, thanks for watching, and bye.